Po! Po! Gavin Stevenson. I was watching you shoot out here and I was, I was very impressed. You're how old now? I'm 11. 11 years old. 11. You've been in this shooting game. You, you, it's got to be genetic because I was in there in the club and this is the Calvert City Gun Club and I looked on the wall, Stevenson, 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 Stevenson. Now, how many of your relatives are, are shooting? All of them? Most of them. Most of them? <laughs> I can't count. <laughs> What's the easiest station on here? Uh, my two easiest are station one and station seven. So they, you know, why is that easier than the other ones? Because you got to go on, well, station seven's going to be your easiest because your low house is a go away target and you just aim right at it, portrait. And then the other one's coming right at you. Well, the high house is easier because all you do is aim right under it. You ain't got to move your gun or anything. You shoot, the target's coming out like this, and your shot comes up, breaks target. I would like you to step me through maybe seven because you know i'm haven't done it in a while you think you could coach me through maybe get me to hit one or two yeah you're gonna tell me how to stand in the whole deal yeah i got my hearing protection and we're gonna go over here and you're gonna step me through some stuff all right, all right let's go this is your favorite station yeah and this is called what now station seven station seven and wait a minute which one goes first the one going away from you or the one coming to you one coming to you which one's the hardest High house, probably. All right, now, what do I do to aim at this? On your high house, you want to aim right there at the edge of the concrete. Like where the white is over there? Yeah, right at the end of the white, right okay. under the house. All right. And then holler pull, come up to the target, and break it all on there. Right, over, right in here? Yeah. You, know, you, want to, you don't want to get it as soon as it comes out. You want to get it right over here? Yeah. You kind of aim under it or at it? or Right in front of it about how far? Can I see one? Yeah. Pull. Right and break up. it right here. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, just remember how to throw this. This gun's ready to go, right? Yeah. All you gotta do is pull that trigger. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna lean forward. And I'm gonna say, pull! Pull! Oh. You wanna try a double? You're a heck of a co A what? A double. What do you mean double? You do it. Here, you stand over here and you do it. Let me see what that looks like. Pull. Oh, I don't know about that. All right, here goes. Pull. Ha! Got him. There you go. You know what? I actually learned some stuff from you today, and I appreciate you spending time. Now let's go talk about some of your experiences shooting, talk about some of your trophies, talk about when you started this game. I believe we even got some pictures of you when you're young. Let's, let's walk over here and look at this stuff. Now, as we look around, we're seeing all kinds of trophies. Junior champ, 2006, 2007. What's the big one? What's the big trophy? It's the Atmos Energy Shoot. We had a, they had the skeet shoot down here, and I got first place in 2009 for that one. Wow. Now, as we look over here, now, I've seen some pictures of you. One of them here, you're all wrapped up in camouflage. You didn't stand a chance. You had no shot at anything other than being a hunting kind of guy. I started off with something like this right here. Is that your first gun? Yep, that was my first gun. That's what I started out on, uh, picture up there. Then what, what was the next one? It's 20 gauge right here. 20 gauge right there. It's uh, 1100. You worked your way up to that nice 20 gauge that I just shot. But you know what, you, you just don't stop there. I mean, you shoot a lot, but you, you're a hunting, fishing kind of guy, right? Yes. What have you hunted so far in your life? Uh, deer, turkey, rabbit, squirrel, pheasant. pheasant. Did anybody intimidate you? Who was somebody out there that you that you knew was a good shooter that you really wanted to beat bad? Every one of them standing over there. Oh, these guys. <laughs> so dads and, and everybody in the club. So there that, that was a lot of people coaching you over here? Yeah, just everybody down here at the gun club's coaching me. So you've had a little help from everybody. Yep. How much of a regimented thing is this? Do you, does he oh. shoot so much per week? Do you have him in a regiment? Or does he shoot when he wants to shoot? Or? He, I bring him four boxes of shells on a Thursday night, and if he wants to shoot them, he shoots them. I don't try to make him shoot or nothing. 
and then brings him four on Sunday. Gotcha. So he shoots around eight boxes a week. Four. Four. Now this is Tinker. This is the grandpa. This is the third generation. That's right. Now you saw this thing start from the beginning, didn't you? Sure did, and a long time before this. A long time. For what was out here before this? Was 19 what? When this uh, was built? 2002. 2002. What was out here before that? Uh, it wasn't nothing here. We had uh, up behind the Calvert Drive-In Theater where we first started on, no my, kidding. on my dad's farm. Yeah. And all we had room for is two fields. Started in 1960. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm proud of you, son. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep our eye on you. And I want you to keep us posted on your upcoming events because I have a feeling there's great things in store for you. And I thank you for taking a little time out for us today.